all gamers, I'll drain your soul and welcome back to another one of my videos. Right, um, this is my first impressions on Mad Max. The footage you're seeing is of the PS4 version, but to be honest with you, I don't think it matters what um, console you get this on, Xbox or PS4. The game looks fantastic. Um, both runs, for those um, resolution halls out there, apparently runs in 1080p, but... Um, Enough of that shit, I'm not bothered about uh, frames per second and resolution. Right, the game, um, game looks stunning. Set in obviously a big wasteland, desert area, uh, wasteland. There's a shitload of stuff to do, like side quests, um, outposts to infiltrate, um, collectibles to find, uh, races to take part in, um, secret areas to explore. Um, Game is amazing. For anyone who's played, um, so as I say, probably just cause and stuff, you'll probably pretty much know what to expect. Um, graphically, the game looks really nice. Uh, I wouldn't say I was blown away by the graphic, but you know it does look. I say it does look stunning. Um, as you're driving along the desert, you'll see like uh, banks of smog. Um, from burning fires, or you'll see like dust clouds from convoys. Um, the lighting effects and stuff like that is just uh, is really good. You'll come also come across these. The draw distance is amazing as well. There is a bit of pop up, but it's mainly like when you're driving along, like shrubbery and little small rocks, and I'll just sort of like um, pop up out of nowhere. But they don't affect the gameplay. They don't don't get in your way or nothing like that. They just sort of there really. Um, yeah, there's this, um, I say the draw distance is amazing. There's this part where um, there's these like hot air balloons. It's when you go up in the map, they, they open up the, your view and it looks amazing. You can see for miles. And uh, what they also do, they'll uh, point out points of interest for you. And these will be like um, shops, outposts, um, races, um, you know, missions or stuff like that basically but the view looks uh, looks amazing um right the the story um behind the game i don't think it's a very strong story but you don't sort of play these games for the story i suppose playing for the like fun aspect um max has left for dead he's had his car stolen um he bumps into this guy yeah it looks like the hunchback he's got a weird name hoggle hoggle someone and this guy says he'll help Max um, get his car back. Max um, says uh, he believes there's some sort of utopia that he needs to get to, but he needs fuel to get there. So this guy tells him he can have all the fuel he wants from a place called Gas Town. So the aim of the game is to get your car back and um, get this fuel um, so Max can get to his utopia. So this guy um, starts off first mission... Um, getting a car um, off this hoggle guy gives you the car uh, and then you've got to get your body um, for the car that's your first mission uh, the opus I forget what the car's called now it's called the magnum opus um, and then you've got I think a selection of four body works so you um, body types but you can uh, choose what your car looks like right early plays, plays on this game I've seen people complain about the, the car saying it it seems sluggish and doesn't control well. I think these guys jumped the gun. Uh, I'll put that to rest now. The car handles fine. There is a skill tree, however. So, um, obviously, you can upgrade your car as you go on. And you can up uh, max get new abilities, like fighting techniques as well. So, obviously, as it goes on, um, max's fluid, fluidity and the car handling will get better. Um the as you're going along you'll see scrap scrap metal you need to collect this this is used as currency in the game and obviously used to um, upgrade your car um, max's health as well um, is used by two ways uh, replenished replenished by two ways water what you can see now max filling is uh, refilling his canister and dog food is the other way i would suggest uh, if you come across when you come across these water pumps Replenish your health and always fill. Don't forget to fill your uh, canister. Um, other aspects of the game which you need to uh, your car, your opus, uh, 
Magnum Opus. God, I keep forgetting that. Um, obviously, you need fuel and fuel scarce, so you'll you'll find fuel in these uh, camps. And when you're driving around the waste ground, you'll see like little camps. Um, obviously, check these out for fuel as well. And you'll come across convoys and other cars. You can take these out, and sometimes they drop uh, petrol canisters. So um, stock up on your fuel. You can um, carry one of a canister which you can store in your car as well. And you can use this as a bomb as well to sort of take down doors and stuff. Right, so um, the game, there's, as I say, there's these sorts of outposts. And um, there's sort of like a little puzzle elements getting into these outposts. They'll be protected by fire or a gate or whatever. Um, so you can have find a secret way into it or you can use your car. And you get a harpoon on your car, you can use your harpoon to pull down a door or cut off the fuel supply for the um, flamethrowers and what have you. So there's like a little sort of puzzle element of getting into these um, outposts. When you're in the outposts, um, there's various things, obviously it's full of enemies, take out the enemies. There's a war crier or war chief, um, be best to take him out as soon as you can because he, he calls for backup. So um, you're best taking them out, and some of these some of these places have bosses as well. Um, take out the boss, but the one the first one I've done, which I'm in now, is um, to take out the fuel pump. Also, as well, you're in these. There's like um, I say collectibles and stuff like hidden um, hidden secrets somewhere have you. And so there's there's absolutely um, tons to do in this game. I say, for anyone who's played Just Cause, um, you'll know pretty much what to expect, really. Um, yeah, so, you know, first impressions are really good. Um, would I recommend run this game? I highly re recommend it. And as I say, it's uh, it's probably come out at a, you know, a bad time, really. It's Gears of War's just been released. Until Dawn's just been released. Um, we've got, you know, Mad Max is getting released uh, the same day. It's probably one of the biggest games of the year. Metal Gear Solid. So, you know, I think it's going to be overlooked and overshadowed by these games, which, um, you know, I think people will be a fool to overlook it because it's a, it's a stunning game, especially people who are into in sandbox games. Um, don't be fooled by thinking it's a movie um, tie-in or movie cash, cash grab. Nothing like the movie. Sure, it's got aspects from the movie added into it, but, um, yeah, it's, um, it's miles better than the movie. Yeah, so uh, that was my first impressions. Do I recommend this game? Yeah, um, highly, especially for people who are into sandbox games. Um, absolutely tons to do on it. I won't do a review on this game because it's um, going to take me a while to complete. So um, I'll leave it at that. Um, hope this video has been helpful and helped you decide on whether to get this game or not. And. Uh...